Hello guys and welcome back. I've got some more fun crafts to do and today we're going to do some tie-dye which is always fun with the kids if you're looking for anything to do or if you have like old sweaters laying around that are white or any kind of clothing that's white that's laying around. This is actually my daughter. She's really stained it up really bad. So we are going to tie-dye this thing to make it get rid of all these stains and stuff that she has put on it. Now what you'll need for this tutorial is you will need your dye. I use this kind of dye. It is Rit Dye More and I'm going to use this blue, this pink, and this red. So you'll need um, at least one color dye for this. You don't have to have all three but I like to do um, all kinds of different colors whenever I'm doing tie-dye. I'm a very colorful person. And then I use these. You can get these for like uh, ooh, already got dye on my shirt. Well, we already started. Um, you can get these for like 50 cents at um, Walmart, or at least my Walmart has them for 50 cents. They are actually ketchup bottles, and they seem to work really fine. So what I do is I take the dye, and I fill the dye up to about right here, and then I fill the rest with water. Um, fill as much water in it as you need. Um, the less water, the more strong of a color your dye will be. So we have that. Um, I'm gonna do just simple, simple tie-dye techniques that are that are really easy to do, and your kids can do them. My kids love doing them, and that way, if you want to just make your wardrobe more colorful, more fun, more tie-dye, this tutorial is definitely for you. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna move my camera. All right. Oh, I also forgot to mention you'll need a shirt. Um, rubber bands and um, a fork works really good because for this one you'll need a something to put in the middle of it because we're going to make a swirly a swirly mark so I use this little spatula that I get from my my Cricut I want to call it a circuit all the time I don't know why probably because it's I don't know I put the eye in the wrong spot usually but yes so you'll need those things for this tutorial that we are doing so we're going to do the spiral first. I like the spiral. It's very fun and very easy. Um, and what you'll do in the beginning is you'll just take your um, take your fork, spatula, or whatever's going to grab. It's just got to grab because you just got to make sure that it's going to be able to do that. If it does that, then you're fine. So I put mine, I always put mine in the center when I do this. But you can, I have also put it to the sides and swirl them in. It's just... Oops, I'm dropping stuff. It's just wherever you want your swirl mark to look. So I'm gonna want mine in the center, just kind of down a little bit. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna start swirling it in. And it's just gonna start swirling. And I'm just gonna kind of push it to the side like it's going. There it goes. Just swirl it in and just take it all to the way that you're going with it. Maybe. You just gotta make sure your swirl mark. All right, this is not what to do how I want it to do. Well, hold on. Let's try this one more time. Sorry, guys, I kind of had it on the thing wrong. So let's swirl it up in there. There we go. Perfect. So it's going this way. That's my problem. So you want to take it and push it the way that your swirl is. And when you have thicker fabric like mine, it's kind of easier to mess up. You just kind of just tighten it all up in there like that. Just like push the sleeves up in there. Just swirl it. All right, so now we got it into a big swirl pile. So when you get it into like this big swirl pile, which it'll look like a big swirl, you have your little center right here. <clears throat> Just take it and push it all together like that. So I'm gonna bring the camera up a little bit so you can kind of see what mine looks like. So it's like a big swirly. All right, bring it back down where you can see this part. Okay, so now what you'll do is for sweaters like mine, you'll need big rubber band so I'm just gonna take my big rubber band here and I'm gonna kind of just keep it together and I'm gonna take the rubber band 
And if you want to use like some kind of like thread or something like that, um, you can do that too. If you're a big, if you have like a um, spool of thread lying around and you can just like kind of, you know, tie it with a thread. But we're going to use rubber bands because they're easier and cheaper. You get those for like 97 cents at Walmart. So you're just going to band it up as many times as you want to. Make sure it's safe and secure. Well, it's going to be safe, but just make sure it's all secured together. Let's see. I'm going to put a couple at the end because it's kind of a bigger sweatshirt. Put it here at the end. I'm sorry, I talk to myself when I'm doing stuff, a lot of stuff. So you just kind of want to make sure that you don't lose your swirl here. Just kind of pull it up in here. Here, so you just, just kind of want to make sure you still have your swirly right there. You just kind of band it up. And then you can take another band this way. You can do. So that way, your uh, do it like I'm gonna stretch these bands. These things stretch. That way, we kind of have it like that. All right, just put your rubber bands however you want. At least that's what I do. We're just doing this for fun. Just a fun tutorial to do with your, so you can make your wardrobe more stylish. At least I like to look stylish or colorful. <laughs> I'm a very colorful person, so. All right, let's see. Maybe put this one this way. Oh, that came off. Well, I think it's fine. Okay, so I still have my swirl. Okay, so you can see kind of how it looks. Oh, not in the camera. After I rubber banded it up, just kind of sectioning them off because this sections are actually probably won't get the tie dye on them because the rubber bands on them but yeah you just have your like little swirly mark here in the middle so you'll know where the swirls at so you'll know that and then you just kind of take it and okay awesome just rubber band it and then I'm going to take my colors and I'm going to put them on there after I get my pan So, what I usually do is I usually have a bowl to catch my dye because I don't want the shirt to be sitting in the dye because I feel like that is just, the dye just goes everywhere and gets really messy. So I usually just put it in this bowl and I have a little, a little pan that I set in there and then I set my shirt on top of that. Let's see, fix this up a little bit better. Awesome. All right. So then I'm going to get my colors. And since I want like the center to be kind of purple, I'm going to use the purple for the center. I'm just going to take it and pour it in the center where the swirly is. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to take and just, you can just add your colors wherever you want to add them. I'm going to add some of my reds to the side here. Me, I like to like do every other color. Like, I don't like to have the same color side by side. So I just kind of go crazy with it. You know. It's just something fun for the kids to do. While on quarantine and they're being homeschooled. If you're just being homeschooled like mine is. Um... You know, arts and crafts time. They have to have something to do. Alright, and yes, tie-dye can be a big, big, big mess. <laughs> Alright, I think I have enough red. Alright, so yeah. It's, let's try our pink now. Let's just throw our pink. A couple of these little holes here, which mine likes to run because it's uphill. There we go. Want some pink with some with some purple here. And 
And yes, my colors sometimes do run together, but you just kind of shake them out. So right there. Um, a lot of people like to try to match their back up with their um, front. Me, I'm just one of those that just doesn't, I don't really care. I like to, I like it to be different. So it's always a thing that I've always had, dare to be different. Don't be like somebody else. Because there's only one you. And you can't afford to be like somebody else. You need to be yourself. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, even though you see all these colors running together, it'll actually look really good afterwards. So don't, so don't worry about them, like knocking into each other or whatever. It just makes it prettier, makes the colors kind of come out more. But yeah, okay, that's pink over there. Let's put some purple up here. I feel like I don't have enough purple, but purple is such a dark color, so the purple is kind of does kind of run with the other colors like so that I've learned while doing a lot of tie-dyeing um that usually I um take my darker colors and put them on first because I don't like them bleeding in with my lighter colors because that does happen I mean sometimes it looks good and sometimes you know it doesn't so just it's just all how however you like it you do however you like it. If you want to just go crazy with it and just see how it looks afterwards, like I do, then, you know, it's all trial and error. <clears throat> okay. I feel like I almost got this whole front done. It's almost time to go to the back here. Whoop. So I like to just make sure all the white is gone, like, so I'm going to just tie out this right here, tie all that right there, so you can see all my tie-dye going into the thing, so it's really good that, you know, you have something to catch underneath, because look at all that tie-dye going down there, instead of my shirt actually sitting into it, so this is kind of what my front looks like after tie-dye in it, and then I'm going to do the back, flip it over to do the back. Um, might have to do, might have to find me some more purple, it looks like. Uh, well, it's not even purple, it's blue. Why am I saying purple? It looks purple. So, this blue is a sapphire blue, and it actually comes out purple on the shirt. So, <laughs> note to be said, and I think I need more pink, not purple. Yeah, I need more pink. Uh oh Okay, so, I'm going to fill my bottle up with pink, and I'll just go ahead and show y'all how I fill this up. So let's go ahead, just in case you get this kind of dye, this dye is not the powder dye. If you get like the powder, then um, you gotta go by the instructions on that. This is just the RIT dye, it's liquid, and it's already mixed and stuff like that. So if you really just wanna use it, just the dye, you can. Um, the colors, you might use a lot more dye than what you need. That's why I use the water, but the colors might be more darker that way after you wash it. Okay, so I'm gonna fill this up with some water. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to do my my blue first because the blue is kind of in the center here, which you know I really don't care for just mixing it wherever, just throwing this wherever we want it. Just gonna make it creative. We're gonna be creative today. Feeling creative. And I appreciate every single one of y'all that, um, that follow, that subscribe to me and that watch my videos and you know, if you um, like this kind of content to where should we just go crazy with colors, bleach, t-shirts, you know, just have fun, then please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see all my fun, crazy new videos that come out. <clears throat> I try to do two a week, maybe three, just depending on my mood and depending on how creative I feel. So as y'all can see, this back is definitely not going to be like the front. 
So we gotta put some red up in there. We don't have no red on the back. Take all that white out. Just throw that white up in there. Yeah, there we go. Just put that red all up in there. I really like tie-dye though because it really um, calms me and gets all the stress out. So if y'all are having a stressful work day week, get you some tie-dye out or get this video out and watch me tie-dye, you know, whatever floats your boat. Whatever makes you happy. Whatever gets that stress out. Oh, okay. Uh, there it is, right here. Shoot. You're mad at your husband, just get some tie-dye out and start slinging the tie-dye. You know. Also, if you want to start slinging bleach, I have a video on it. And I will put that in the card up above so y'all can see that bleach tutorial. So if y'all want to sling bleach because you get mad or stressed kids stressing you out being home for being home all day long because of this coronavirus I get it I really do I get it I have kids love them to death but they uh, definitely can get on my nerves I'm not gonna lie okay so make sure I have all this out Okay, so as you guys can clearly see, my back is not going to be like my front. It's actually, front's a little bit more, ooh, I got some white right here. Put some, I don't want no white on my shirt. I don't like the white on my shirt. Alright. Okay, guys, so, as you can see, this is my front. Very colorful, kind of dark colors. It looks like it's really dark right now, but it's not going to stay dark. So, damn, still have some white spots. All right. All right, so what I do after this is, because I don't want this to be so dark, I am going to run cold water over it and I'm gonna squeeze it until I get to the color I want it. And I'm gonna leave it rubber banded. Leave it rubber banded, because if not, your colors are gonna run into each other. You don't want that. I'm gonna do that real quickly and I'm gonna unband it and I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. Squeeze it, make sure it's dry. Squeeze it, let's thaw out. Alright. Okay, guys, so for the moment of truth here, take this silver band off. We're gonna find out what our creation looks like. A little nervous. Never did a tie dye video. Okay, guys. Get all these rubber bands off. See what this thing looks like. I'm gonna sit down though while I'm doing this. Okay. Oop. Oop. Awesome. Okay, guys. Here we go. This is my daughter's shirt. See if she's gonna be, if she's gonna love it or if she's gonna be mad. Let's see. How does it look? We're about to find out. And I think it looks pretty darn perfect. Look at that, guys. Yes, it has a few white spots, but the white has kind of actually really loving it. So, that is the swirl effect of tie-dye. It's beautiful. So now what I'll do with this shirt is I will let it dry. I usually hang them to dry 
for 48 hours. So that way all the color will set in. And so after 48 hours, I will then wash it and dry it. So that way, um, it'll, um, the 48 hours, you gotta let the dye set into your, um, shirt. And then after that, you, um, can wash it, dry it, wear it, do whatever you want to. But please wait them 48 hours, or your color will disappear. So, um, hang it to dry for 48, hang it to dry, and then after 48 hours of it sitting there, wash it, wear it, do whatever. If you guys like this kind of videos, if you want to see more tie-dye tutorials, I have another technique that I love that is very simple and that looks just as gorgeous as this sweater did. Um, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when it comes out. I also have bleach tie-dye tutorials. I have all kinds of fun stuff for this channel. So if you like what you see, like I said, subscribe and hit the notifications bell and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.